It's difficult to accurately determine the origin of artiodactyls but Diacodexis may be the oldest known one. In life, it would have resembled a modern Duica, it is believed to have been fast running, capable of leaping relatively far. The earliest fossil suits date from the Oligocene epoch in Asia, and their descendants reached Europe and Africa during the Miocene. Cubanagoras males use their forehead horns for jousting with each other. Suits are intelligent and adaptable animals. Adult females and their young travel in a group, while adult males are either solitary, or travel in small bachelor groups. Males generally are not territorial and come into conflict only during the mating season. The common warthog is the only pig species that has adapted to grazing in savanna habitats. It will wallow in mud to cope with high temperatures and huddle together to cope with low temperatures. Common warthog ivory is taken from the constantly growing canine teeth. Despite its large size and relatively wide distribution, the giant forest hog was first described only in 1904. It has not been domesticated, but it is easily tamed and has been considered to have potential for domestication. In the wild, though, it is more feared than the Red River Hog, as males sometimes attack without warning, possibly to protect their sounder. The wild boar inhabits a diverse array of habitats from boreal tigers to deserts. Human intervention has spread its distribution further, making the species one of the widest ranging mammals in the world, as well as the most widely spread suiform. The upper canines of male baby rusu emerge vertically from the alveolar process, penetrating though the skin and curving backward over the front of the face and towards the forehead. Bay by Russo are native to Sulacy, it has been hypothesized that the unusual distribution is due to their being transported by humans as gifts bestowed by native royalty. The preferred habitat of Bay by Russo are tropical rainforests along river banks. Bay by Russo's are protected in Indonesia and killing them is illegal in most cases. The most recent theory of the origins of Hippopotamidae suggests that hippos and whales shared a common semi-aquatic ancestor that branched off from other artiodactyls around 60 million years ago. The Hippopotamidae are believed to have evolved in Africa, some species lived in Asia and Europe but none are found in America. The common hippopotamus inhabits rivers, lakes and mangrove swamps where territorial bulls preside over a stretch of river and groups of 5 to 30 females and young. Pygmy hippopotamus is a rare nocturnal forest creature that is difficult to study in the wild. The earliest known Tylopoda, called Gnotherium, lived in Europe during Eocene. It was about the size of a rabbit and lived in the open woodlands. Tylopida has only one extant family, Camelidae. This group was much more diverse in the past. Camelids are unusual in that their modern distribution is almost the inverse of their area of origin. Camelids first appeared very early in the evolution of the even toed ungulates in North America. Pretlopisit the oldest known, it was also the smallest. Titanitlopus possessed long and massive limbs and a comparatively small brain case. Like modern camels, it possessed a hump for fat storage, evidence for this is provided by the long neural spines on its thoracic vertebrae. The dromedary is specially adapted to its desert habitat, these adaptations are aimed at conserving water and regulating body temperature. The strength and hostility of the dromedary make it popular as a domesticated animal. Bactrian camel have a remarkable ability to go without water for months at a time, but when water is available they may drink up to 57 liters at once. It is thought to have been domesticated sometime before 2500 BC in northeast Afghanistan. 
the dromedary camel is believed to have been domesticated 4000 BC in Arabia. Alpacas have been domesticated for thousands of years. Mush people of northern Peru often used alpaca images in their art. Alpaca fleece is a lustrous and silky natural fiber. They are often noticeably smaller than llamas. The two animals are closely related, also closely related to the vicuna, which is believed to be the alpaca's wild ancestor. Ruminantia includes many of the well-known large grazing mammals. They employ for gut fermentation. They digest food in two steps, chewing and swallowing in the normal way to begin with, and then regurgitating the semi-digested cud to rechew it and thus extract the maximum possible food value. Protoceras was one of the earliest and most primitive protoceratids, still possessing upper incisors and four functional toes. It lived in the deserts of the late Oligocene. The skull decoration of Cyndiocaras looked quite unlike those of a deer. It had two pairs of horns. Like giraffe ossicons, these protrusions were covered with skin. They were probably used for display in fighting. With a length of two meters, Synthtoceras was the largest member of its family. It was also the last, and had what is considered to be the Protoceratid's strangest set of horns. Only males had this strange horn, and they probably used it in territorial fights. Kiptoceras were believed to have been driven to extinction by more advanced grazing herbivores, but in Florida, where there were still relatively large tracts of forest, Climacoceratidae is a family of superficially deer-like artiodactyl ungulates which lived in the Miocene in Africa. They are close to the ancestry of giraffes, but they differ from them in that their antler-like ossicons are derived from different bones. Prolibitherium displayed dramatic sexual dimorphism, in that the male had a set of large, leaf-shaped ossicons with a width of 35 cm, while the female had a set of slender, horn-like ossicons. The antilocaprids evolved in North America, where they filled a niche similar to that of the bovids that evolved in the Old World. They were a diverse and successful group. Only one species, the pronghorn is living today. Giraffids formed part of a relatively late mammal diversification that also produced cattle, antelopes and deer following a climate change that transformed subtropical woodlands into open savanna grasslands. Bramatherium was built very similarly to Shivatherium. Alive. It would have resembled a heavily built tocarpi and had a crown-like set of four, radiating ossicons. Shivatherium is, by weight, the largest girafit known and also possibly the largest ruminant of all time. Its shoulders were very powerful to support the neck muscles required to lift the heavy skull. While all giraffes belong to the same genus and species naturalists recognize nine separate subspecies, reticulated giraffe is by far the giraffe that is most commonly seen in zoos. Once a giraffe has reached its adult size, it's extremely unusual for it to be attacked by lions or hyenas. Instead, these predators will target juvenile, sick or aged individuals. The Maasai giraffe is distinguished by jagged spots on its body. Giraffes and Ocapis are equally distantly related to cattle, suggesting the giraffe's unique characteristics are not because of faster evolution. They arrived in Africa around 7 million years ago, while climate changes caused the extinction of the Asian species.
Some researchers have hypothesized that this new habitat coupled with a different diet, including acacia species, may have exposed giraffe ancestors to toxins that caused higher mutation rates and a higher rate of evolution. Despite its long existence, Okapi discovery was only first announced scientists at the start of the 20th century and it has already been listed as endangered species. It is entirely dependent on its forest sanctuary for survival, and deforestation has caused its decline.